G'day, I am Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and this is video number 100 and uh, today we're going to cover structural highlighting uh, which are these bars and different coloured beginning and um, pairs and things and that's um, done using a ID plugin called CN Pack or it's actually CN Wizards, CN Pack's sort of the uh, uh, the website you get it from uh, so you go to cnpack.org and we see the latest stable release is for uh, up to XE5 um, but if you go to the nightly builds um, we see that XE6 is supported in um, the unstable releases so grab the latest unstable release uh, install it into XE6 and you'll get um, along with structural highlighting lots of other goodness but we're just going to look at structural highlighting now to configure it we go into the CN pack menu ID enhancement settings and source highlight enhancements. So there are a multitude of settings here. Uh, by default some of them are off, I've pretty much turned everything on. Um, there's some settings here for uh, performance, um, but I've pretty much got it to uh, work all the time. Um, the other thing that I turn on is the uh, enable background highlight for current identifier at cursor, um, which if I click on first mortgage, or principal perhaps, you'll see that every occurrence of principal is highlighted. This makes it quite easy to, to search through um, and see uh, where, where a particular identifier is used. And we can also click on a begin and it highlights the end. That's the, um, the other option there which was uh, the highlighting of um, keyword structure. Uh, I also turn on the um, separate lines between functions, which uh, if I scroll up slightly, we'll see we've got some lines. So they just um, fill in, if I put a couple of enters in there and take them away and delete that one, it disappears. But it's just, just basically drawing a, um, a line on a blank line of the code. So yes, uh, definitely I, I like to turn um, both those on and the um, uh, separate lines between functions. There's um, a bunch of line settings. You can um, have little tabs on the end of these um, the, the structural lines to to make it a bit, bit clearer and stuff like that, which I, 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 I like it pretty much the way it is. I make the lines thicker so that they're more obvious. and so on. And there's, there's quite a few settings. Um, pretty much uh, having them all turned on is, is, is pretty good. Um, so that's effectively all I wanted to show you. Um, so this, I, I, I thoroughly recommend structural highlighting, particularly if you've got some strangely indented code um, that can make it a lot easier to read. So um, this is uh, Alistair Christie signing off. Um, we'll hopefully cover more of CNPAC in future videos. And I will hopefully see you then.